Hello and welcome to this episode of Baggage Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about Internet of Things and an overview of the devices of Internet of Things in Packet Tracer. So in Packet Tracer, in addition to the ability to add routers and switches and endpoints, we also have the ability to add things. And these things are divided into two subcategories. One is the smart things and one is the components. The smart things can be connected to home gateways using network, using the normal network connections that we have, like wireless or uh, RG45 connection or Ethernet connections. And components can be connected to microcontrollers using specialized connections such as uh, serial or parallel or these type of connections. And they have digital and analog slots. For smart things, we have a few subcategories, which is home subcategory. If we can come here in devices, then we have the home category, the smart city category, the industrial category, and the power grid category. And for components, as we said before, we have microcontrollers or boards. These are basically uh, the controllers. We have sensors. We have sensors. These are the components that can sense the environment. And, and they have the ability to give us the data about the environment. We also have actuators, which I have forgot to written in here. Actuators. This is also part of components. It is, it is a subcategory of components, actuators. And actuators allow us to manipulate the environment in some way or another. And as you can see, we have a lot of actuators available in, in Packet Tracer. We also have the subcategory of boards, which is basically single boarded computers and a special thing and a special device called thing, which we can create customized things with, with this device. That's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative and I would like to see you in the next episodes where we would go into more details of Internet of Things. Stay tuned.